Good morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? I don't remember which homework we had. <laughs> uh, all right, then I'm going to give you some questions. So chapter 3, page 21 and 22. So I'm going to assign a couple of questions and then we want to go over some questions with you and then we can move on next topic. So let's do page 21 to 22. Mm -hmm. So chapter three, page 21 to 22. We will number two, B, and then D. Right. E and G. B and D. Number two, B and D, and then H and J, please. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes. You try first, and then I also open as a group. And then you guys can double check together and then we will go over we will go over as a class too. Okay? Yeah, so please work it on. So the first question is B, which is so 24 P to the fourth power over. 7p s square over 9p cube over 8s fifth. Okay. So who can just explain uh, the first step of this problem? Reverse. For LCD. And multiply. Yeah, finding, yeah, so you can also do reverse and then make a multiply. But uh, as I told you, we stick with the one method in this class. But if you have another method, then feel free to do it. So what's the LCD? So find the LCD, you need to find out two denominators. So what are the denominators? 7ps squared and 8ps squared. Yeah, and A S fifth. Yes, it's really important to notice notice that what it, what are the denominator. So we are making seven. Can you share the screen? Excuse me. Oh, you don't see my working? No. Okay, so I stop sharing one more one, and then. No, we can see. We can see the we, we can see this whiteboard. Yeah, whiteboard. Yeah. Do you see my handwriting now? Yes, yeah. yes. That's so good. S square and then eight S fifth. Okay. So what is the common factor between these two expressions? S two. S two. And S two. Okay, then we can make seven P. This is gone. And then eight S cube. Yes. Go fast, go. Mamado, can you hear me? Mamado? Yeah, okay. So now, do you see any other common factor? No. No. So you multiply the L shape, then LCD becomes 
So S squared times seven P times eight S cubed. So what you like from so seven times eight, 56, and then P S fifth. Okay, so we are multiplying this to both fraction. Multiply 56 P S fifth. Multiply 56 P S fifth. Okay. Now we try to simplify. Okay. So the foundation we are dividing first. Otherwise, number will be really big. So, 56 divided by 7 is going to be what? So, 56 divided by 7. 8. 8. And then P is gone. Now, S squared will become S cubed. The same thing on denominator. 56 divided by 8. 7. 7. So it becomes 7. And then S fifth is gone. Okay. So if I make that. So 4 times P4 times 8. S square over nine P cube times seven P here. Okay. So why is it not for the top? Why is it S squared instead of S to the third S cube? Because the two, the seven oh. P S only S squared. Thank you. Thank you. My mistake. Okay. Now from here, do you see any common factors? So between we multiply out. Uh, before we multiply out, so do you see any common factor so that we can simplify? So first of all, let's look at all numbers. 24, 9, 8, and 7. So do you simplify any two numbers? Mamadou, can you see any two number we can simplify? Three, right? No, wait. Yeah, three, right? Okay, three. 24 and 9, we can divide by three. Then this becomes eight. This becomes three so far, right? Now, anything else? I'm going to highlight P4, P3. It goes because, away completely. Yeah, they are going away because they are exactly the same number of P. So they are all gone. Mm, I don't see anything else. So now we just multiply numerator, which is 8 times 8 times S cube over 3 times four over 21. Therefore, as it become 64 S cubed over 21. That will be the answer for this problem. So any question about this? I think it's easier if we, if we use the reverse method. Uh, can you show yours? Uh, so let me see what you did. Okay, so let me uh, stop sharing and then so show me please so yeah so we have the expression we just uh, reverse this one and we make it like multiplication uh -huh. right and then we multiply and then we have completely we just like simplify because we have like P4, P4, S5, S2, S2, it's S3. And then we find the common factor between 192 and 63, which is three. Mm -hmm. And then we simplify three and three and then becomes the answer 
64 as 3 divided by 12. Okay, so what do you think of Marshall's idea? Do you have any questions regarding his method? Wasn't it 21 instead of 12? Can you Finding L to D is kind of difficult. It's, complete, it's confusing, not difficult. Okay, then can I see, uh, can you show your work one more time? So a little bit closer to the camera. Okay, so I can see, so I can see he, basically he just make um, uh, the bottom the fraction and then he flipped and make a multiplication, which means uh, this complex fraction means the top fraction divided by bottom fraction. That's why he switched up and down, basically. Does yes. it make sense to you? Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen then show how or what he did anyway. So, so basically, I'm gonna just rewrite here so that I have more space. So 24 P fourth over seven P S square over nine P cube over A S fifth power. So according to him, this means 24 P fourth over seven P S square divide by 9p cubed over 8s fifth. Because he skipped one step, so I'm writing the middle step, how he reached you know, the flipping step here. So, because, so if you understand, this means this top fractions divide by bottom fractions. That's why we can rewrite this way. So he rewrite that. 24 P4 over 7 P S square multiply switch this one then 8 S fifth over 9 P Q. That's what he did, right? Yes. Yeah. What do you think? Mm, yeah. yeah, that makes sense too, right? Okay, so I think at the end of we will get exactly the same. Uh, step here. So look at this one and then this one here. So we may have very similar situation. So only different thing is this case we have S cube here and then S cube here but this one S5 here. But eventually we will simplify this expression. So basically there's no difference though. But as I told you, uh, through this class, we only cover one method. But now you see Marshall's method too. If you like it, then you may consider to uh, using it too anyway, okay? So I'm not gonna do any further because um, uh, others are similar to this anyway. So I'm gonna move on next question, which is D. So D is so x square minus thirty six over twelve over x plus six over six. Okay. So you can do Marshall's way too, but as I told you this way, we're using <coughs> method, which is the method here. So this one looks a little bit different compared to a letter D. So letter D case, everything was a monomial. You know what monomial means, right? If not, let me know so we can go over. So letter B, everything is formed as a monomial. Do you got that? Yeah. Alondra, did you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and then four is Kelvin. You got that? So they're all monomial. Haiti? 
Okay, so I hope you all get it. So now, this one, as you see, those are not monomial. They are binomial, right? So whenever we see the binomial, what should we do? Sorry. You can open that one. Yeah, so I I heard Marcia's comment, but uh, what about other people? What should we do first? Maybe you factor it. Exactly, we need factoring out, okay? Whenever you see binomial, if you have the factoring, it's possible. Okay, so top, top one. So if you're factoring, then what do you get? Um, X minus six. Parentheses x plus 6. Exactly. Okay. So this um, factoring property is really important. So you will keep on seeing that. And over 12 over what's the factoring of the x plus 6? x plus 6. Yeah, because it is prime factor. So x plus 6 over 6. Now you can find LCD between two denominators. What is the LCD? Mm -hmm. I couldn't hear you, yeah. What do you say? Multiply, no, two is common factor, not the common denominator. It's 12. Yeah, 12. Okay, so we multiply 12 over here and here. Then this is gone, and this become two. So far, so good? So therefore, mm -hmm. this becomes x minus six, x plus six over two times x plus six. Now, can you see any common factor between numerator and denominator? Multiply x plus b. Yeah, this one, right? The same factor. So answer becomes x minus six over Two. That will be the final answer. But here, please be careful. If you think so x minus 6 over 2, you can simplify this is 3 and then x minus 3. It is wrong because this is binomial, this is monomial, so you cannot Simplify it this way, so please be careful, okay? So I emphasize it, so don't make this mistake. Now, next one is, oh, where is this? H. So, what is H? Okay, so H is one over x plus three, minus 1 over x minus 3 over 1 over x plus 3 minus 1. Okay. So, we find common denominator in this case too. So, what are the denominator factor? x plus 3, x minus 3? Yeah, x plus, as you see, x plus 3, x minus 3, x plus 3. Therefore, LCD is what? x plus 3. LCD becomes x plus 3 times x minus 3. Okay, let me pause for a second. So, you all understand why LCD becomes x plus 3 times x minus 3? If not, raise your hand. So, uh, Babakar, you understand why the LCD become X plus three and X minus three? Yeah, I understand. Okay, Mamado. So you un uh, unmute yourself first. I think I think Mamado microphone is not working. Ah, okay, okay. Then. 
if you if you get it thumbs up otherwise thumbs down <laughs> yeah, Amado, up or down do you hear me yeah i'm i'm asking you so you understand lc become x plus three and x minus three yeah yes but mm -hmm. i want to know if you hear me first oh yeah i can hear you now really well all right Katie, do you get it yeah okay Kevin. yes okay then chris yeah i understand it santiago got it no Santiago, one more time, please. Sir. Do you understand or not? Got it. You don't understand yet? Because I, I'm not clear with your answer, so clarify. You get it or not? I got yes? it. You got it, okay. So now we multiply LCD to every fraction. Okay, that's the next step here. Okay, then, so if I do this way, then this becomes 1 over x plus 3 times x plus 3, x minus 3, minus 1 over x minus 3 times x plus 3, x minus 3, over 1 over x plus 3 times x plus 3, x minus 3, minus 1 times x plus 3, and x minus 3. Wow, it is long, but I mean, if you simplify uh, from here, then just do it, but I'm just writing all the steps. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify the common factor. So I guess this is gone. And this is gone, and this is also gone, and this one should stay like that because nothing we can simplify. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now this case becomes x minus three minus x plus three over now x minus three minus this becomes x square minus nine. Make sense? I totally skip a step. So if you don't get it, let me know. Yeah, I hope you are all okay. Okay, so now. So that should be the answer. We need to simplify the problem. Yeah, we need to simplify from now on, yes. But we haven't reached it yet. I just uh, reorganized um, a linear factor. So this term become x minus three left. This term become be, yeah. Should it be the bottom one, x plus three minus x squared minus nine? No, because of x plus three is cancelled out. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So now it becomes. I'm gonna open the parentheses. Then x minus three minus x minus three. Okay, here's critical point. We are uh, distributing by negative here. So this sign must be switched over x minus three minus x plus plus. Anyway, I love this question, so please be careful. And now this becomes, I can see this is counted out, so minus six over, you can see x minus x squared six, six. So, and we can rewrite this, negative six over, I'm gonna make it, this is descending order then, negative x squared plus x plus six. Okay, since the numerator is negative sign, denominator negative, we can switch all the sign, then it become six over x squared.
square minus x minus six. Okay. I want to say this is the answer because um nothing on numerator, so we can simplify anymore. But just in case, we also want to rewrite this in the factoring form. And I hope you now you understand. I can just do x minus three, x plus two. Okay, so you will see more and more, I'm skipping some steps, especially the factoring form. So please practice a lot so you understand all the factoring procedure. Okay, so if you get this answer, Unless I, I make any mistake between this procedure, then that's the correct answer. The next question is J. The J is, okay. So two minus, Four over five minus ten over x plus two. Okay. Let me ask Santiago. Santiago, can you find the LCD for us? Is it is it a x plus two? Great job. So x plus two. They are the only denominator factor, so they will be LCD. Okay. Heidi, what can be next step then? Mm. You, mu you multiply by um, x plus two. Yeah, everything, right? So we yeah. multiply x plus two, everything. Okay, okay then Mamado, can you just uh, show me next step here? Um, we, we, we have to distribute. Yes, so it becomes? So it becomes uh two times x plus two minus four over x plus two times x plus two mm -hmm. over okay the denominator yeah uh five times x plus two minus 10 over x plus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, good job. Okay, Babakar, can um, you uh, simplify from here, please, Babakar? Yes, hello. Okay, I can hear you. Hello, you want me to simplify this? Yes. Is five x plus two minus ten x plus two x plus two? One second. So I know for from here. So from here, do you see any uh, expression we can simplify? Uh, you got um, they got they got common like terms x plus two and x plus two. Okay, so this to cancel out, and then yeah, and um. The, the, the two and the four, or no? So I think that's fine and that's fine. So they're also commons, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I said, x plus two and x oh, plus two. Okay, okay. Then yeah. this becomes? Two x plus four okay, minus two. X, okay, so two x plus four. Minus four. Mm -hmm, over. Five x plus four minus ten. Minus ten, okay. Alondra, can you keep on going? Um, do we have to um, combine those two alone? We have to um, factor those now, right? Yeah. Combine the like terms, four, negative four, and 10, and negative 10. Oh, they're gone, basically, right? So because. Yeah. And I think that sounds like it's going to be two. Two x five. over five x. Yeah, two x over five x. That's the answer, but now, before we clear, uh, I'll clarify that. Can you find any common factor between numerator and X? X, X right? X. They're gone. Yeah. 
So as it becomes two over five. Oh my god, I love this one. Even though it looks very complicated, but numbers are really simple. Okay. Everything good? Yes. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna go back to section 3.3. I also give you a few addition or subtraction questions. Right. The same way, I can give you some time for you to do it. So page, chapter 3, page 17. Page 17? Yes, 17. So we, may, we might have done already uh, on Monday, but we want to just do it one more time. The first question is E. So this is number 5E. Um, <coughs> maybe the harder one, J. And then maybe L. Three questions. Okay. E, J, L, please. So I'm going to assign about uh, another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So, did you see uh, Mohamed's uh, screen here? No. Not really? Okay, hold on. So, what about now? Mm -mm. Hmm, that's weird. One second. I think someone else is sharing his. Exactly, uh, yeah. No, that's so, he needs to stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. Can you see now? Yes. Okay. And the x squared minus y squared and x minus y. Could you, but they're not like back to because they're not division, but you could not cancel this out and turn the x squared minus y squared to x minus y. What do you think? I guess great questions to everybody. Can you see why Mohammed is here? Uh, I did differently. I don't know. It's the same, but and I try to find the common common denominator. The least common denominator is x minus y factor to x plus y. Okay, then let's see your work. Then. Can you show your work, please? Who? Mamado, can I see your work? I don't know. I write. I use pencil. You, you cannot see even if I show you. That's the problem. Okay. So everybody, can you see his work? So I think right. make a little bit Still more, little bit more center. So Humble. more center. It's too much. It's too much. That's the moment. You see the moment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's not working right. Okay. And now. So let's just um going over the question together. So I'm gonna write what Mohammed just uh, asked us. So what he what he did was um one over x minus y minus two x y over x squared minus y squared. Basically, he simplified like this. So this becomes one minus. 2xy over x minus y, but as you see, x and x, y and y, so that's why he got like this. Right, Mohammed? Yes. Yes. What do you think of his work? No. No? No. Because I point out which part is not right? Because when, like, the uh, when he in, in the second part, like uh, we have x square minus y square, yeah, that's is the form as like x square minus y square factor of x, x is x minus y factor of x plus y. Yeah, so Mohammed, did you hear what Mamadou just mentioned? Yeah, 
Yeah, so this one, because of the denominator value of binomial, so whenever you see binomial, what do you do? Whenever we see binomial, then we, we factor in, okay? So this becomes one over x minus y minus 2xy over x plus y and the x minus y like uh, just mama mentioned okay then what is the uh, common denominator x plus y factor the x minus y yeah so i mean the uh on monday we talk about this, right? we highlight common factor so this is common factor here and then now we just multiply left over factor kind of exchange here nothing left nothing left on this fraction but this one we have x plus y left over so you multiply this one to here and here <coughs> you remember this one because um this procedure is really important to pursue calculus one plus <coughs> unless you understand this procedure you, know, you always have some difficulty so please understand at this moment okay so this time it becomes x plus y over x minus y x plus y minus 2xy over x minus y and then x plus y therefore so i really hope you understand from here to here did you get that why i got x plus y over x minus y times x plus y so I, as usual i accept quiet means positive reaction so i keep on going so this become now exactly the common denominator so it becomes okay, some noise so just to check out what happened x plus y okay now can we simplify from here so can we get rid of the y this looks the yeah, we can. We can. Why? No, no, no. Minus y square, all of it square. I think so. That's that's the answer. That's uh, you can. That's the answer, right? More. That should be yeah. the answer because x plus y minus two x y they become trinomial here. Mm-hmm. So unless you're factoring out, you cannot cancel them out. So x minus two x y plus y is formula, right? Excuse me. Okay, now let's say you cancel this out. Then now you are getting the wrong direction. This is not right. Professor. Now, Right. Yes. X plus y minus two x y equals to x uh, minus y all of its square. Right. No, you cannot do that because there's there's no square power with x and y either. But that's a great question here. So if we have x square minus uh, plus y square minus 2xy then you are definitely correct this become x minus y square but as you see degree of x and y becomes single degree so you cannot do anything and anything else yes yes mohammed yes okay so you said the reason we wouldn't cancel out the 
the reason you wouldn't cancel out the X plus Y is because on the top is a trinomial. But if it was yeah. in parentheses by itself, you could cancel out. Oh, there's also a great question. So, okay. So what if we have this one, X plus Y min uh, minus two X Y over X minus Y, X plus Y. That's what you mean, right? Yeah. Okay, even this top is binomial there. One terms, another term here. So you cannot do that either. No, of course. Not yeah. multiplicate. So this is not either, okay? You cannot do that. So you still couldn't cancel out the X plus Y? No. In this right. case, not at all. So if you have, just um, if you have X plus Y times 2xy oh. over x plus y and then x minus y, then finally you can do that. Oh, uh, because there's not multiplication on the yeah. because not multiplication on the top and bottom. You can exactly yes. All okay. right, I get it. I get it. So next question is we are doing what is it? J. I think you say L. Excuse me. I think you say L. It's J and L. Isn't J and L? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, J. Well, these challenge questions, I really need your help. <laughs> okay. J is 2x minus 8 over 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 plus x plus 3 over 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. Okay. Can you tell me what will be the first step? Yeah, exactly. We, we should fact, we factorize we, first. Yeah, denominator. Yeah. yeah. So, three for me. What do you get then? X plus two, two X plus So? You said you're factoring the denominator? Yes. So this becomes what? X plus two, three X plus two. Okay, so anyway, after copying the answer, I'm going to wait for you. So please double check. You also get the exact the same factor. Otherwise, something wrong, right? What about this one? Uh, X plus one and two X plus two. Okay, so let's check. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, okay. So now, <laughs> what will be next step? We make the common factor, it's like yeah. We make the common factor, mark the common factor. X plus what? two, X plus one, and two X plus two. Yeah, but, so, by, uh, uh, please mark factor between two denominator. What is that? Yeah, somebody just uh, uh, ask whenever you talk. Yeah, we can hear. We can hear, uh, music, we can hear everything. So now we are marking common factor. We can plus two, three x plus two, right? Right. What's over? So now we have a uh, left of factor which is x plus two. So can you tell the guy to do this? Do you know? Okay. The other side. Yes. So we are multiplying. 
the left one factor, this one to here and here. And this one to here and here, basically. Okay. Then this, be this becoming the 2x minus 8 times x plus 1 over yes. x plus 2 existing factor first and then u factor x plus 1 plus now x plus 3 and this one x plus 2 over x plus 1 existing factor first and u factor x plus 2. Okay. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. So one more time, why I got this expression here. So this is existing denominator. We are multiplying on this side the left over factor to both numerator and denominator for the first fraction. That's why numerator become 2 x minus 8 times left over factor x plus 1 over existing factor x plus 2, 3x plus 2 times new factor x plus 1. Right. The same procedure to here and here, so I got this one. Okay. Now, since we have a common denominator, you can combine two numerator. How do you know when to use the leftover to multiply? Or is it just always what's yeah. in the front? Yes. Yes, exactly. So here, uh, after we indicate uh, 3x plus 2 and 3x plus 2, right? If yeah. they're common here, then so whatever left over in front of the common term. are not common. That's what oh. I call leftover factor. Oh. So whatever left on this side, you multiply to second fraction. Whatever you left on second fraction, then multiply to first fraction. Okay. So now, uh, please expand it for me. Then this becomes... So 2x square plus 2x minus 8x minus 8. Please make sure if I make a mistake. And plus x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 over x plus 2, 3x plus 2, and x plus 1. Okay. Now, we open the parentheses on numerator, and this becomes 2x squared plus 2x minus 8x minus 8 plus x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. Right. Over x plus two times x plus two times x plus one. Okay. Combine like term. Three x square. So three x square minus x minus x minus two minus two over x plus two three x plus two x plus 1. Okay, please factoring this trinomial. It's uh, x minus 1 multiply 3x plus 2. x minus 1 times 3x plus 2. And then x plus 2, 3x plus 2, x plus 1. Once again, if you don't understand how we got from here to here, you must review and practice a lot because um. I don't think we have enough time to review how to factoring anymore. So please practice as much as you can. So now simplify common factor. Then answer becomes x minus 1 over x plus 2 and x plus 1. Well, so if you have this answer, then that's the correct answer, I, I guess. Okay, now L, 